Dr. Shashank Shuti. Prayer is all about purification of the soul, clearing our minds of negativity and guiding us towards our cherished dreams and aspirations. To initiate this event, I call upon Ms. Shreya Esra to render a soulful prayer song. for the beautiful devotional prayer. It is believed that the lamp of knowledge dispels the darkness of ignorance. We now move on to our traditional auspicious lamp lighting ceremony as a tribute to Mother Saraswati. I cordially invite the esteemed dignitaries to come forward to light the lamp. Of Hackfish 24, I invite our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Gopal Mogheraya, Vice President of NIPTE, Dean to be University, to mark this momentous occasion by pressing the buttons on the tab, symbolizing the commencement of three days filled with innovation, creativity, and collaboration. Now let's begin by shedding light on the cornerstone of our academic journey. 
Nitya Mahalinga Argentaya Memorial Institute of Technology. Established in 1986 and recognized by All India Council for Technical Education, New Delhi, has been a constituent college of Nitya deemed to be University <coughs> Mangaluru since June 2022. Ranked 101, 150 in the National Institutional Ranking Framework, NIRF 2023 by MHRE, Government of India, among the engineering colleges in India. The college has been placed under the platinum category for having high industry linkages by the AICTE C second survey of industry linked technical institutes 2020. Moving on, I would like to introduce the Final Loop Club, the primary force driving the organization of this hackfest. Final Loop Club, FLC, is the premier coding club at NMEMIT started in the year 2016, dedicated to realizing and inspiring ideas. FLC provides opportunities to work with the latest trending tech stacks, access workshops, secure internships, engage in peer-to-peer -peer learning, attend guest lectures by renowned experts, and collaborate on real-time projects, including coding contests to enhance analytical and problem-solving skills. Now, it's time to introduce the much-awaited event, the Hackfest 2024, showcasing a firm dedication to innovation and teamwork. Twilight Loop Club, NMAM Institute of Technology presents a three-day National Tech Fest featuring a 36-hour hackathon, tech talks, and networking. Our vision is to bring together 60 teams from leading engineering colleges, fostering innovation and technical advancement. The event spans 50 hours, including a 36-hour hackathon, providing a platform for participants to showcase their skills. I now request Dr. Shashank Shetty, Assistant Professor Greatly, Department of CSC and Faculty Coordinator of Finance Group Club to welcome the gathering. Esteemed dignitaries on the dais and off the dais and my dear student friends, very warm good morning to all of you. On behalf of Finite Loop Club, NMAMIT Intake, it is with a great pleasure that I extend a heartfelt welcome to all gathered here for the prestigious 36 hour national level hackathon, Hackfest 2024. Hosted by Finite Loop Club, NMAMIT Intake, and proudly powered by EGDK India Private Limited, along with co sponsorship from UBS Solution Private Limited and the Global Point. Just to give a brief introduction about the uh, Finite Loop Club. For the past eight years, Finite Loop Club at NMA-MIT has been committed to building a thriving coding community and providing enriching experience to our students through various initiatives including technical workshops, hackathons and real-time project building sessions. This flagship event Hackfest 2024 brings together 60 teams from esteemed institutions, carefully selected from a pool of over 240 teams to ideate and innovate across six uh, distinct tracks fintech, metaverse, sustainable development, logistics, healthcare, and open innovation. Throughout the event, these teams will receive periodic mentorship from industry experts and be evaluated by a panel of seasoned professionals. With this small introduction, allow me to extend a special welcome to our distinguished uh, chief guest, Mr. Desmond Drago, team manager at EGDK India Private Limited. Sir, your presence here today truly honors us. Thank you. <laughs> I extend Another warm welcome to Mr. Adarsh Prabhu, Assistant Director of Nivea Solutions, our esteemed Chief Guest for this occasion. I am honored to extend a warm welcome to our esteemed Guest of Honor, Dr. Gopal Mugaraya, Vice President of Technical Education of Nitya Deem to be University. 
A warm welcome is extended to our beloved principal, Dr. Nirajan N. Chitlunka, whose unwavering support forms the backbone of our overall endeavor. I extend my warm welcome to Mr. Puneet Arpi, our faculty coordinator of Finite Loop Club and assistant professor in charge of computer science and engineering. A warm welcome to our student organizers, Mr. Swastik Shetty and Mr. Pratama, our dedicated student coordinators of Access 2024. I request our student coordinators to florally welcome the chief guests and dignitaries on the list. success for everyone involved. Thank you. Thank you, sir. A warm welcome to you as well. Today, we are honored to have the support of remarkable sponsors whose contribution have been integral to the success of this event. First and foremost, we would like to express our deepest gratitude to one of our most esteemed sponsors, Nikte Deem to be University. Nikte Deem to be University was established in 1979 by the visionary late Justice K. S. Hegde. Nikte University has a rich legacy of empowering rural youth through exceptional education and healthcare. With 36 institutions across three campuses, they offer a diverse range of programs, fostering well-rounded individuals across various disciplines. Their unwavering support has been instrumental in turning half 24 from a dream into a reality. On behalf of the entire Hackfest team, I extend our heartfelt thanks to the esteemed Chancellor and Vice Chancellor of Nikte Deem to be University for their generous contribution. Moving on to another key supporter, I'd like to extend our deepest appreciation to our diamond sponsor, EGDK India Private Limited. EGDK is a leading Nordic software company with over four decades of industry experience. Based in Denmark, EGDK specializes in developing, delivering, and servicing their own software solutions for over 30,000 clients across private and public sectors. With a global team of 2,200 plus employees and more than 30,000 clients, EGDK boasts a portfolio of over 100 products tailored to the Nordic market. They operate delivery centers in India, Poland, Iceland, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and Norway with a growing team of 180 plus in India and plans to expand to 300 plus employees in the coming year. Next, 
We extend our heartfelt thanks to our platinum sponsor, Nivea Solutions Private Limited, a cloud-bound engineering services organization established in 2013. Since its inception, Nivea has rapidly evolved, strategically partnering with Google Cloud in India 2019 and achieving premium partner status in under two years. Specializing in cloud services, Nivea empowers enterprises to create scalable and resilient infrastructures. Recognized with the 2020 Google Cloud Services Partner of the Year Asia Pacific and Expansion Partner of the Year Asia Pacific Awards, Nivea excels in application, infrastructure, and data modernization alongside cloud consulting, security, and managed services. I would like to express our gratitude to our gold sponsor, the Global Point Overseas Study for Loan which is an overseas educational consultant organization devoted towards providing good services to the students. Their services extend across continents, inviting students to pursue education in Canada, Australia, the UK, USA, Europe, and more. They specialize in aiding students who aspire to study and settle abroad, marketing their profiles to universities of their choice. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause to all our generous sponsors for their continuous guidance and service. I now kindly request our honorable chief guest, Mr. Desmond Rego, team manager at EGDT India Private Limited, to address the gathering and share his words of wisdom. Norway, 
Iceland, Finland. These five countries are called the Nordics. And basically, we cater to them. So, basically, EGAS is focusing on vertical software. What do I mean by vertical software? Vertical software is nothing but we try to go into every segment, sorry, every segment of the industry. So we start building software. We actually have, like the master of the ceremony has already mentioned, more than hundreds of applications, right? So we cater to a lot of different applications. And we are a product-based company. So basically our two main focuses are on customer focus and deliver what we promise. So these are our two major focus. So like you, like it was already mentioned, we are and we are on a revenue of two billion plus BKK annually. And now the story comes as to how did we end up in India. So basically. We had a company, uh, the first Danish company set up in Bangalore in the year 2004. So it was set up as Friend Avenue Systems in Bangalore. And the company called EGAS acquired this company in 2001. So after that, we decided like we move out of Bangalore and come here into Mangalore because we found that it's a good environment over here. We are good colleges, good clients, uh, good talent set like you guys who come here. And we were interested to go into the economy of the local culture and of local environment. So that's the reason we ended up coming to Mangalore and we are in two offices in Mangalore. So this is about EGDK. With this I'll stop my conversation about our company. So let me go into what is Hackathon and my message for this Hackathon. See, always Hackathon is we break things to make things. There's only one thing constant in the field of IT. The only constant in the field of IT. Change. change. So change is the only constant. Things every time it improves every time it motivates people to break things to make things so hackathon is also something you guys come over here for 36 hours to build up something good right something interesting and i am looking forward to what you people build what you people develop and hopefully something of some of you might even start up some companies over here from the ideas which you people start here so with this, the last sentence I just want to tell you guys would be a axe, a sharp axe cuts the tree. But always sharpening the axe will never cut a tree. So in this context, you should always remember there's an optimal balance in the work you do. You should not get lost in only sharpening the axe. So every time you sharpen the axe, you're supposed to hit the tree. So with this, I conclude my uh, message for you guys and wish you all the best and keep motivated and build something great. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for sharing your valuable perspective. I would like to call upon our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Adish Prabhu, Associate Director, EVS Solutions, to kindly step forward and share his insights with us. Hi, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, it's a privilege for us as uh, EVS Solutions to be part of this event. Uh, to be part of this event, uh, to be your gold sponsor for this event. Uh, for us, uh, we were born out of Kurti. So this is the region that we were born out of. And uh, our founders who were working in different parts of India or 
some of them came out of uh, US as well, came back from US. Uh, with a dream to build a company in a tier two city in the place that they were born, they studied and they grew, right? Because they believed in the story, they believed that they could build something um, revolutionary, not just a company, but something that could do good and give an option to people around Mangalore, Udupi, and the region around uh, Kasaragod and Kurk as well. Where uh, you get to work on technologies that you would work, I mean, you would go either out of India or even to Bangalore or Mumbai, right? And uh, when we started in 2013, maybe that was not possible. Uh, but uh, as we formed our partnership with Google Cloud, uh, we quickly switched over to cloud technologies, AI, ML, and technologies that provided this option. The dream that was uh, thought of in 2013 was made possible five years later, right? We grew with India. I mean, as India brought in uh, UIADI, Aadhaar, KYCs and all that, we built apps that could use that, right? Now, uh, if you open or if you try to apply a credit card in ICICI Bank, for example, that's an app that we built, right? Built right out of uh, a center in Udupi, right? Or, uh, I mean, there was a lot of noise around uh, when Scorpio was launched, when Mahindra Scorpio was launched. Uh, there were like 60,000 applications for buying Scorpio and uh, never seen before offers coming out and uh, their shares increased by 2,000 crore because they got a lot of booking on that day, right? That entire website or that entire application experience was built out of Mangalore, right? So we could give that experience right here uh, because we believed in it. Right? For, as an organization, we believed that things that could be delivered from big cities could be delivered from small cities because the minds are same. Right? People who go to Bangalore and deliver these products are from here. And uh, it's a privilege for me as an individual as well because I came out of this college. Right? When somebody invited saying, okay, speak at this event, uh, I took this opportunity. I had technology at Mubay Solutions. So for me, it's a good opportunity because uh, college gives you the foundation and hackathons gives you a leverage to build on that foundation. Right? So you should use this foundation, uh, what you study in college to build, uh, to build yourself, right? to build your character because in hackathons, you are almost like simulating what happens in a project. Right? You, you get a requirement, you build on it, you work as a team, you have problems. Uh, unlike an exam where there's a pass or a fail here, that's not it. You fail, you have to build towards success. You can't stop there. there there's no end result at failure. Right? So that's how work is. Right? You get a requirement, you, have to, you can't stop until you achieve it. Right? We could not stop until all 60,000 users who logged into Mahindra.com that day could book for a Scorpio. And uh, that was our, uh, we had to achieve that, right? So take Hackathon as an opportunity. We as a company, we look for individuals not by marks. Marks is one of the criteria, but majority of our, uh, most of our decisions are because of the way you expose or you tell how you can solve a problem, right? And that doesn't come by marks. And these events like hackathons and uh, hackathons, where you get an opportunity to build your character, to solve problems, are the things that build your uh, build your portfolio as a developer, right? So uh, when I, I, I studied, uh, it was not really important. Marks were the things that were considered and uh, because there were less there were lesser number of engineers passing out and uh, they wanted engineers. But now that's not the case. I have a lot of options, right? I have too many options in Mangalore to hire a lot of engineers. Uh, so it's, it's very important that you make use of this opportunity. I mean, whether you are from Mangalore or outside Mangalore, I mean, this is a national event, so uh, you can be from anywhere. But building a, being, building a portfolio as a developer, once you pass out of college is very important. So this events, whether it's Hackfest or any other hacking events that you take part or um, webinars that you join, 
these are the things that will add value to yourself. So take it, make use of this opportunity and uh, all the best to everyone. It's a privilege for us to be here and uh, looking forward to a lot of you uh, building very good solutions and showcasing it to the judges here. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for enriching us with your valuable insights. It is my privilege to invite our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Gopal Mogheraya, Vice President, Technical Education of NITIC, Deep to University, to deliver his address to the gathering. Dear hackers, see, when I was a student and I was a professor at Kennedy Surakkal, in 2004, I was talking to you, we were the first to start this hack process. I thought, you called us ethical hacking, I thought it was a slang. And, uh, but now I realize the word hacking has started from the woodcutter. Because my friend told me that unless you cut a wood, you can't make a furniture. So hacking is inevitable. Friends, I always feel that I'm not a computer engineer, but I served in NIT and other NITs for more than three decades. I find that the journey of a student is important more than destination. What you learn in the class is only 50%. The remaining 50% you have to learn through these courses. The best way to have an industry interactions. And I find there are more than 30 colleges have been involved in this. The location to interact. And unfortunately, the computer engineers are in the testing ground today. In fact, some are telling that with the intervention of the artificial intelligence, I'm not scaring them because there's me. There will be some of the routine job of coding might vanish, but it will come in different way. So this is one of the area where you have to find out which is the area, hack something, change. Change is inevitable. Unless you change yourself, things will not happen. So I say the half life of the computer engineer is only four years. Unless you come with the new technologies, it won't happen. In fact, I still remember when I started my PhD in IAC Bangalore, I had not seen a computer. And now everything on the palm top. So that is exactly the changes. And uh, actually, uh, the Coastal Karnataka Mangalore, which I am also part of it, it's called as the Education Hub. Uh, for the information, in the city of Mangalore, we have 14 engineering colleges, 7 medical colleges, 4 universities, dental college, everything is there. So we have more than 150,000 higher education students. And it's so vibrant. It's a manual called as very vibrant. And of course, <coughs> manual is famous for everything from the, you know, the perspective of uh, Miss World to Underworld also. So you'll find everybody from Mangalore. So we are very interactive, and the students are very smart. And wherever you find, we'll find uh, uh, the manual is performed well. I'm very sure that you should utilize this opportunity because I have a presentation on hacking, but it's not an occasion because it's not the right time. But I thought that you'll interact more and bring a change, change for good always. And because you are, you are a very fertile brain. I'll give you a small, small example. When I was in Surakkal, one boy from IIT Madras came over here to do an internship in IIT in, in, in uh, Marfield, chemical engineer. And I was in the Marfield for more than 30 years. But the boy did a small experiment in Marfield because of that, MRP is saving 8 lakhs per month. Because you have a very fertile brain, you will think out of box. I tell you, if you want to come up, up in life, two things are very important. First is, you should think out of box. Second thing is, come out of your comfort zone. Unless you come out, come out of comfort zone, we cannot achieve anything. And you have to always think out of box. With these few words, friends, I wish the youngsters to have effective interaction. 36 years of marathon will definitely lead you somewhere and bring some very good technologies uh, which can be showcased. Because I always say that youngsters should not be willing to go for as an employee. We should become an employer. We should, because the difference between employer and employer is that employer will come at 9 o'clock to the office thinking of going back at 5 o'clock. But an employer will come home at 5 o'clock and think of going back at 9 at 9 a.m. next day. So you should really always think of doing good to the system, grow well, and do well. All the best, God bless you.
Thank you, sir, for your thoughtful and thought-provoking address. I now request our respected principal, Dr. Niranjan N. Chiplunkar, principal of MMA MIT, to kindly address the gathering. Good afternoon, respected Professor Dr. Gopal Magraya, the Vice President, Technical Education of the Indian Indian University. The chief guest of this uh, inauguration of 36 hour hackathon, Mr. Desmond Rego, team manager from PGDK, and also Mr. Adash Prabhu from Media Solutions, Dr. Shashank, who is the coordinator and the person behind this entire hackathon. Mr. Puneet is also supporting Dr. Shashank in every respect. He is the assistant officer in the department of CSC. Ms. Swastik and Ms. Pratham were the student leaders. And on the audience, we have uh, mentors from the industry, our uh, vice principal, HODs, faculty members, and my dear students. And also, the students who have come from different institutions to participate in this practice uh, hackathon. I know the beginning or the planning when it was done for this hackathon or Hackfest 2024 must be about six, seven months back. So that time, Dr. Seshank and a few of the student friends they came to us saying that we would like to have such a hackathon here. I believe the dates were also planned. It was somewhere in the month of February or some, somewhere then March. Now it is happening in the month of April for different reasons. But I know the finite loop club which was started uh, in 2016, 16 is behind this entire activity. And we know there are very focused students who would like to do something different, something which is challenging, they would like to attempt to uh, doing it. And they are basically the people behind this entire show. Already this year, one hackathon was conducted in the college. And this is one more, which uh, the kind of preparations that have been happening, as I said, from last five, six months, uh, every detail they have gone in. And I really would like to thank the sponsors, the Nivea Solution, the EGDK, Global Point, and also uh, Nitin Into University for uh, supporting this particular event in a big way. The themes that have been taken up on this hackathon, the six the themes, which as I as it was mentioned, fintech, healthcare, sustainability, metaverse, open innovation, and logistics, all are very relevant because lots of changes are happening, lots of challenges are there, and our college students, like many other college students, have been participating in Smart India Hackathon from last couple of years, which is a Government of India MHRD initiative, and students have been winning prizes, along with Hackathon. Uh, very many other types of Hackathon are also being conducted. Once, I believe, uh, that Talpathon was conducted here, Again, the Finite Loop Club took the initiative in arranging because this was a nodal center at that time. So we know the kind of activities that are happening, but unless there are interested students who come forward, none of this hackathon will become a success. And year after year, we are seeing greater prominence that has been given. Because this innovation is one thing which is happening in every uh, walk of our life, even though the revolution, uh, when we were uh, studying in schools, they used to say that it is the uh, uh, agriculture uh, revolution that happened. And then a uh, lot of technological revolutions happened, and then the internet revolution, which has changed the world, and now it is AI. And whatever we say, there is an AI coming into it. And I know all these six themes, which have been carefully chosen for this hackathon, will have something to do with AI also, I am very sure, because already this project problem statements were given and all of you have worked on it and from 240 plus teams, they have shortlisted 60. I believe many teams are already here and some more may join before the event starts this evening. And uh, 
I'm sure that the good ones or the best ones will be picked during this hackathon. Doesn't mean that others have not put in their effort. Definitely they will have chances some other time. I only wish that the statistics as hackathon goes a, uh, a big way and in the years to come also the finite loop club of this institution will uh, come forward and arrange many such useful programs for the benefit of students uh, in learning something outside the classrooms. And I wish this program every success. I also wish to thank our Honorable uh, Chancellor of Nigeria MTP University who should have presided over this program. In fact, he gave his consent yesterday. He was supposed to be here, but he could not make it because of some other uh, pressing engagements there. I really wish to thank him for his generous support and also thank all our sponsors once again and to student friends for making this happen. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your support and your words of wisdom. I would now like to inform our esteemed guests, dignitaries, participants, and everyone present here that we are about to commence a significant moment in our event, the Czech Review. This moment underscores the generous contribution and support extended towards our cause. Now, I kindly request all the dignitaries present on the days to join us for the Czech Review ceremony.
opportunity to have a distinguished panel of judges who will bring their expertise and insights to evaluate the, our talented participants. Please join me with a warm round of applause for our esteemed judges, Mr. Praveen Urupa, Founder and Technical Director of Eva Logics, Mr. Sujit Kumar, Solutions Architect, Application Modernization of Nevia Solutions, Harshit S. Product Security Engineer at Sony India Software Center, Mr. Jovich Risoza, Business Intelligence Analyst at EGDK India Private Limited, Ms. Pooja Jain, Quality Assurance Engineer at EGDK India Private Limited, Mr. Desmond Rego, Team Manager at EGDK India Private Limited, and Mr. Ravnath Malia, Team Manager at EGDK India Private Limited. and inspire our participants throughout the hackathon, we have a phenomenal group of mentors. They will the win beneath our participants' wings, offering valuable advice and support. Joining us today, we have Mr. Krishna Prasad Rao, Cloud Engineer at Nivius, Mr. Aditya Kedi, Founder of Handshake, Mr. Vinay Samanti, Associate Software Engineer from Informatica, Mr. Bharat M. Kulkarni, Software Engineer from Mercedes-Benz Research and Development India, Mr. Mogi Sudesh Rao, Head of Hiring and Custom Success Manager, Software Engineer from Tagash, and Mr. Manoj Kumar Sarja, Software Developer at Zeta. Let's give a warm welcome to our esteemed mentors. Appreciation is a virtue we hold in high regard. I would like to call upon Mr. Pameet R.P., Assistant Professor, Grade 3, Department of CSC and Faculty Coordinator of Finite Loop Club to deliver the word of thanks. The roots of all goodness lie in the soil of appreciation for goodness. Every good afternoon to one and all gathered here today, respected uh, dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, my dear students. On behalf of Finite Loop Club, I extend a heart word of thanks to each and every one of you who has graced this occasion with your esteemed presence. Firstly, I would like to thank our esteemed President Sri N. Vinay Hegde, the guiding force behind the Nikte Education Trust and the Chancellor of Nikte Deemed to Be University for all the support and guidance during the course of event. We are truly honored to have had the privilege of hosting our Distinguished Chief Guest, Mr. Desmond Rego, Team Manager at EGDK India Private Limited, and Mr. Adash Prabhu, Assistant Director of Nivea Solutions. Your insights and ex expertise have added immense value to our event, and we are deeply grateful for your invaluable contribution and presence. Thank you. Sir. Our heartfelt Gratitude to our guest of honor, Dr. Gopa Mugraya, Vice President of Technical Education at Nikte Deemed to Be University. Your support and encouragement have been instrumental in the success of this event. Thank you, sir. We are very much grateful to our beloved principal, Dr. Niranjan N. Chipulka, for his support and encouragement throughout the event. Thank you, sir. We extend our sincere thanks to all our sponsors, EGDK India Private Limited, Nivea Solutions, The Global Point, and the Nikkei Education Trust for their generous support and unwavering in our endeavors. <laughs> our special thanks to our Vice Principal, Dean Academics, Dr. I, Ramesh Mithantaya, Vice Principal, Chief Control of Examination, Dr. Srinivas Rao, Dia, Sri Yogi Shekde, Director of Campus Maintenance and Development, HODs of various departments, resident engineers, office, security teams, stores team, and all those who behind the scenes whose hard work and dedication ensured the smooth execution of this event. A heartfelt thanks to the faculty coordinator and organizing committee for their meticulous planning and execution, and as well as to the volunteers and the members of the Finite Loop Club for their invaluable assistance. Also, we would like to extend our gratitude to our supporting body, CSA, NMIT chapter, and Rachina Club for their collaboration and contribution to Hackfest proceedings. Last but not certainly the least, 
We extend our deepest gratitude to all the participants from various colleges across India. Your enthusiasm and passion have truly made us this event a resounding success. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who has directly or indirectly contributed to the success of this event. Your support and participation have been invaluable and we look forward to your con continued support in our future endeavors. Thank you once again and wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to everyone for their presence and participation. Your presence has enriched this event and I sincerely appreciate your time and support. To all participants, I extend my best wishes for a successful and enjoyable experience throughout the event. Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring this remarkable event to a close. I kindly request Dr. Shashank Shetty and Mr. Puneet Arati to escort our dignitaries of the days. To all our participants, here's an announcement. Food for all the participants is being served at Sadananda Hall. You will be guided to the hall by our respective single point of contacts, SPOCs. Please make your way there for lunch. I will invite all of you to promptly return by 2 p.m. to this very hall, Samram Hall, for an insightful talk.